Hey everyone, it's Christy. Thank you for tuning in to Semi Crafty Librarian. Um, this whole month, I am going to devote to making homemade pet toys. So, for dogs and cats. This week, we are going to make a homemade cat toy, like a little thingamajig like this that you can play with your cats. Um, it's pretty easy actually. So I know you can like go to the pet store and buy cat toys and they're kind of expensive. So you could totally make a fun do-it-yourself cat toy with just basic stuff that you might have around the house. So you need potentially a wooden dowel or make your own out of newspaper or cardboard. You need some bits of yarn or string. I had some feathers around the library, so I'm using feathers. Um, little bits of ribbon. This is just um, some contact paper that Mrs. Jessica used for one of her crafts that I'm going to use. Some felt. You could also use, if you have an old t-shirt, you can shred up an old t-shirt into strips. Um, and you'll see like what I mean by just random materials here that you're going to glue down to your thing here, your stick. And I mean bells if you have them, but um, things that you can use to decorate your, your dowels. I glued yarn on mine, but if you have some decorative tape, you can use that. Um, let's just see how this looks. We'll see how our tape works here. And honestly, I made this one just out of a couple of sheets of newspaper. I just wanted to see if it would work. And it's kind of thick, as you could see. Um, but you could wind it up a little bit tighter if you wanted to. Um, if you didn't have a wooden dowel, I think this is just a good alternative. And you could just use your tape and just kind of make it a little more colorful wind your tape around and stripes however you want to do it it's kind of fun um except right there i messed up a little bit okay come on tape all right so just take it keep going around you could color the newspaper with marker or crayon if you want colored pencil you could paint it you could think of other um ideas to make the long part here but newspaper seems like it works really well you could probably just use regular paper all right well so the tape was pretty easy kind of makes it more colorful so with that why don't we just continue to use the newspaper um i on this one just tied some ribbon around the little loop of the bell and that's just tied it onto the stick. So, I mean, honestly, it really couldn't be any easier. So let's just get some ribbon out and see what we have here. I think the longer the ribbon, the better. I'm going to tie these two together so we kind of have a longer strip of ribbon. And it in a knot. You could use a square knot if you wanted to make it extra secure. And let's get some pink out. I like this color. And just grab your ends of your yarn. Maybe we'll throw in a little bit of blue. So there are lots of different ways to make these. This is just the way that I'm showing you, but get on the internet and you will find tons of cool ways to make these little cat toys like this. So I'm just going to take the end of my newspaper thing here. I'm just going to tie these in a knot around my newspaper. 
if you had glue, a, a glue gun, I mean, you could definitely make this more secure with a glue gun. You could tie your ribbon and then glue it down. That would help it last longer. But I mean, honestly, I, I don't know that that is completely necessary. Okay, so got that tied down. So you can see how it kind of starting to look like a little cat toy. I'm gonna trim off the edge here. So just a trick when you're trimming ribbon, if you trim at a diagonal, it'll help keep your ribbon from fraying. So let's just trim that and we'll trim this little piece and we'll trim this little piece on the diagonal like that so that it won't fray. Whoops, that was great. Did you see that? I just chopped off part of my ribbon there. Okay, so now what else would you want to put on here? So if you had an old t-shirt, you could cut your old t-shirt into strips and tie it on. You could definitely use some felt, especially this real soft felt. I don't think you'd want to use any of the um, felt that is a little stiff, but you could use this. You could use felt like this. It would be the same thing. You would just tie it on or glue it on. If you'd want to cut it longer, maybe tie a couple pieces together. Um, let's tie on a bell. Let's tie the bell on to the bottom of the pink one. So you're just going to slip your little ribbon right through there. Tie it onto your bell like so. And then what else? We've got, I've got these feathers here. So we know cats like any sort of dangling thing that they can bat at. So you could attach feathers. This is just embroidery floss, but you could use yarn or string. And I just tied the end to the feather on either side of the string. And so just tie it on. Go like this. it. Let's tie it one more time. So think of some other things that you could make a cat wand toy out of and that's going to get real messy there but of course because I'm tying a knot and I never can tie a knot. <laughs> so oh gosh. Anywho. You know the great thing about uh doing this virtual program is I can just give you guys the idea so you can take it and make it whatever it is and probably have way better luck than I ever do making crafts. So there's your little wand with your <laughs> bell and ribbons and feathers. And I mean, what cat would not like to play with this, right? And so with all like do-it-yourself sorts of things, especially if you're making them for pets or kids, just be mindful of how well it's holding up. And if you feel like, you know, it's falling apart or it becomes, um, you know, a choking hazard or something dangerous, like then just throw it away. I mean, it's not gonna last forever, but it'll uh, last long enough to have some fun with your cat. So I hope you like this idea. I hope you guys try it out. Um, next week, we'll be doing another homemade pet toy. Probably something for those dog lovers out there. So I think we're going to make some homemade dog toys next week. So please tune back in. And I hope everybody is having a great Tuesday and just a fantastic rest of your week. So until next time, we'll see you later. Bye.